Hello, I'm Mary and thank you so much for coming. I pray that as you listen to this video today, your life will not remain the same again. Provoking the blessing. To provoke means to stimulate or give rise to something. To provoke means to stimulate or give rise to something. The blessing is divine empowerment to succeed. It is supernatural endowment of God that makes you to succeed. You are empowered to succeed. It is a blessing of the Lord that makes it rich and adds no sorrow. Proverbs 10, 22. A blessed man or woman can succeed anywhere. So provoking the blessing is the act of Deliberately touching the heart of God through honoring his vessels for the release of uncommon favor. Now hear this and hear me well. Prophets are fathers. That's God ordained messengers. Pastors who declare God's counsel and it comes to pass. You can provoke the blessing of God by honoring spiritual fathers. Honoring your prophet is the easiest way to profit in life. If you want to prosper, the easiest, one of the easiest ways to prosper is to honor the prophet. Because said, believe the Lord your God, he shall be established. And believe his prophet, so shall he prosper. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20. Prosperity is your birthright in Christ. But God uses prophets to connect you to it. Moses was used by God to prosper Israel. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 21 and 22. Exodus chapter 12, 25 and 26. For them to leave Egypt, he has programmed that he will bless them. But he had to use a vessel called Moses. He said, and I will give this book favor in the sight of the Egyptians. That when you go, you shall not go empty. That's what God said. But that did not happen until Moses was involved. I decree you will not end this year without an understanding breakthrough. Yeah. Abraham prospered through the words pronounced on him by Melchizedek. In Genesis 12, 1 to 3, God said, I will bless you. In Genesis 14, 18 to 20, Abraham words were pronounced on him by Melchizedek that prospered him. God told me he will prosper me. But I entered into the realm of kingdom wealth when Bishop Edekwa pronounced words on myself and my wife in the year 2000. With all humility, I'm your spiritual father. And I decree that from today, you will never lack honor. Yeah. You will prosper. I'm speaking to you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, it says, Son honored his father. And the servant is master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? We are in a season where many don't honor spiritual fathers. A generation where fathers are not respected or regarded. Please let me say this to all of us. Be mindful of your attitude towards them. Spiritual fathers are above you. They are not your myth. You cannot disagree with the ideologies. But you don't have a scriptural right to insult them. In Proverbs 20, 20, it said, if you insult them, your light shall be put up in obscure darkness. It said, who cursed? That word cursed in the New Living Translation said, if you insult, he used the word cursed means salt. If you insult a spiritual father, you can never go forth. A man's honor is his greatest virtue. Every true son and daughter will also honor who God has assigned to them. First Thessalonians 5, 12 and 13. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. And to esteem them very highly, what? In love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Did you hear that? It said because of the work they are doing, esteem them. Put them above you. Look at it. I'm not the one that wrote the Bible. You can't tell me two of us are mates, no matter even if you are a classmate. My classmate does not mean we are grace mate. Schoolmate, 
classmate, village mate, is not the same thing as grace mate. Did you hear me at all? We can be classmate. We are no longer mates now. Are you hearing me? I was a classmate. That's old parable. We are no longer mates. So, you hear me? Even in the natural, the mates of your country president, are they, you can they go to say, "Boy, you my mate." The president of a nation, can you go to him and say, "You know, we are mates." He says, "Excellency." They are not talking about spiritual. Some people are so stupid. They say, "We are mates." Please, a spiritual father is not your mate. You may be older than him by age, but he remains your father. Are you going to say now? Now, qualities of through sons and daughters of a spiritual father. Qualities of a through sons, through sons and daughters of a spiritual father. Number one, they will change their own schedule to invest time in the presence of their spiritual father. They will change their own schedule to invest time in the presence of their spiritual father. In Galatians 1, 17 and 18, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again to Damascus. This is Paul speaking. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see who? Peter, this is Paul speaking. Peter, was he senior? Yes. And I brought it to days. He recognized that Peter was not his mate. Is that true, sir? Not by age, but as a senior in the gospel. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I have canceled programs here just to attend Shiloh. I could say, well, God has anointed me. How do I am anointed? When, I, when Shiloh comes up, I cancel my own program. During his birthday, I made sure no program was fixed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? During the week-long activity, nothing was fixed. Even if we had fixed something, I would have canceled it. Because there can never be any 27 September its own. There can never be any 21st October in one year. It will be next year again. Is that true? There can be 27, 27, uh, 27 September 2024 again. It will be 25. So whatever I have, I cancel it. It can never be 70 again. It never will be 71. So here. Are you hearing me? So people who understand spiritual, two sons and daughters, they cancel their program. So suit to the program of their father. So here. Number two, they receive and believe in the ministry of their spiritual father. They receive and believe in the ministry of their spiritual Father, Matthew 10, 41. He that received a prophet, the name of a prophet, shall receive a prophet reward. Second Chronicles 20, 20. Believe the Lord your God shall be established, and believe his presence shall he prosper. It is not enough to receive him, but you also must believe him. The prophet you don't believe cannot profit you. Mark 6, verse 5. And could they do no mighty works, save that he lays hands on a few things and heal them? They did not believe Jesus. So don't think Jesus was accepted by all. They say, Is he not a carpenter? There are some people who come say, oh boy, I know that guy now. Know me that guy. You do, I'm not a guy. Yo. I'm a man of God. I'm not a guy. Not that guy now. Not that guy. No, don't call a man of God your guy. He's not your guy. He's not your what? He was your guy before. Now he's not your guy. Number three. They respect and obey his instructions. They respect and obey his what? Elijah and the widow of Zenephron. 1 Kings 17, 9 to 16. This woman obeyed the instruction of Elijah. As many as obey, I decree my God to bless you. Yeah. Naaman and Elisha. 2 Kings 5, 1 to 15. John chapter 2, 1 to 11. When Jesus gave the instruction that they should put water, they obeyed. That is how you know spiritual sons. They obeyed the instruction of their father. So here. Number four way to know, they have a heart-to-heart connectivity. They have a heart-to-heart what? With him. Proverbs 27 verse 19. It's as in water face, answer to face, so a heart of man to man. There's a connectivity from the heart. Are you hearing me? You can tap into the wonders of God in the life of your mentor through a soul tie relationship. Elijah and Elisha, he said, I will not leave you. In 2 Kings 2, verse 4, verse 6, verse 10. He said, Tally, he said, I'm not going to tally. We are connected. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Glory to God. There's a connectivity. There's a what? We are, a few weeks ago, we were with Bishop Edebo, and while we were about leaving, we were just talking, and just he was talking to 
two of us. And while we were talking, Mama was there, my wedding was there, he was there, he was talking to us. And while I was talking, he said, David, this is what God said to me. And the thing God said to him, we have never discussed in the past. That same thing God said to me, the same thing. And I said, Daddy, God said to me, the same thing. We've not met, we've not spoken. There's a connectivity. If you are not connected, then something is wrong. There are times you see those who are connected to me, we say, Papa, I said, God also is speaking to me on that line. But by the time you and your spiritual father have no connectivity, mind your heart, something is wrong somewhere. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Glory to God. Shall, it is not a function of proximity. It's a function of connectivity. You can be close physically and not be connected. You can be living with a person in the same house and not be... A young man was in Bible school who was living with Bishop Edekbo. He was wearing Bishop Edekbo's suit but was not connected. Till today it's not connected. It's disconnected. That is, he, wears, he was wearing... Just imagine you wearing my suit. This guy was wearing a regular suit in Bible school. But if you see him, it's opposite of connectivity. It's completely disconnected. Number six. So I hear. They gladly sow seeds into the life of their spiritual father. They gladly what? Into the life of their spiritual father. The quality of your seed is determined by the level of honor on him. The way you honor a father, that means how you sow to him. Are you getting me? The queen of Sheba, in 1 Kings chapter 10, 2, 3, and 10, came to see Solomon. She placed so much value on Solomon, so the kind of seed she sowed was unconventional. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Glory to God. Are you hearing me? This woman values Solomon so much so she sold heavily to Solomon. It is a value you place on the vessel, your father, that I mean how you sold to the person. So I hear. I'm standing before God. What I do for Edekbo, I don't do for myself. I place more value on him than myself. So what I give to him, I don't give to even myself. So I hear. Are you getting me? Because I value him more than I value myself. In Philippians chapter 4, 15 to 19. Look at Paul. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, this Paul speaking, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me concerning what? Concerning what? So no giving? No receiving. But you only. No giving? But for even Thessalonica, you send once and again. So he don't do it only during per day. You honor the man. Per day only special, but you honor the man as alive. So, not because I say give. Not because David Biomi is poor. Not because I deserve anything. But I deserve fruit that may abound through your account. So you're doing it for your own account. Do you have Paul speaking? Hey! Understand what the Bible is saying here. But I have all. I'm abound. That's, I'm comfortable. That's what Paul said. Just like me. I'm very what? I am contented with whatever I have. I am full. Having received of a prophet that is the things which were sent from you. An order of Swiss men. A, read it now. A what? Read it. So if it's not sacrificial to the man of God, it won't be beneficial. It has to be something that is of value, that the man will like. He will like what you did. And then it will be pleasing to God. Say so here. Then Paul now said, but what? What it? Read it. Want to go? Shall? So, Philippians 4.19 is not to be prayed by you. It's to be prayed by a man of God whom you have touched. Many of us just pray by God. Shall, you know, if you pray Philippians 4.19 without 50 to 80, you're 419. Philippians 4.19 is not prayed by you. It's after you have touched the vessel of God. He will not say, my God. He didn't say, our God. I don't understand Bible. It is the vessel that will pray that prayer for you. I say, my God, bless you. I can say, my God, bless myself. I am the one who prayed for you now. He will pray for himself. That's why he saw that Adebo he prayed for him. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Woo! You don't say, my God, shall supply my needs. God said, well, I'm not going to supply your needs. Whom did you try to supply your needs? 
Paul said he's God. He's our God. Paul said his own God. Welcome, come. Can I the microphone? You come. Come. Rise up and pray. Can I the microphone? Now hold the microphone. Look at him. Stand here. Say, my God bless you. Tell them that. My God bless you. Shout, shout. My God bless you. Say it again. My God bless you. That means it's God. I think we are all men of God. As some of you say we be equal now, all of us are men of God. Shout again, my friend. <laughs> my God bless you. Not here. <laughs> Is it work with me? Is it work with me? So most of the pastors with me don't think that is your grace, my friend. Calm down. Pray again. Shout, my friend. Shout. My God bless you. See, not yet. So, in no get power, permit me to say, my God. Turn now. Turn. Face me, my boy. Look at me now. My God bless you. I, I, so, it's not his own God. Now, if you doubt, I'll tell you how powerful. Stand here. Now, you'll be shocked what will happen. Tom, in your heart, don't say it out. Say, God, you call your servant. I am standing to represent him. Now, just watch. You'll see what will happen. In your heart, listen. To that heart is very important. Just say, God of David, answer me. Don't say, my God, this time. Just say, bless you. You see something will happen to this man. Just connect your heart to me now. And just say, God bless you. What this man you pray shouted, not happen. Sort will happen. Oh, yeah, pray that way. From your heart to connect your heart. Now pray. Just say, God bless you. God bless you. Did anything happen now? Did anything happen? Yes. Why did it not happen when he shouted? It's more of a heart issue. So even the pastor's working with me, something's happened. Don't think it's his own grace. It's my grace. <laughs> did you hear me at all? No go. The moment his heart link up to where he's connected, miracle happen. So most times people get deceived and get carried away. They say, I pray for somebody. It's also a place. I'll be laughing. I say, don't know your source. So. If he thinks not you, when, come out here. You're going to say, no, be you. I have a covenant with God. So anybody, even if you come now, stand here, you go walk. Because you are connected. So it is not that person. It's the grace of the commission from me. Now, my God, supply all your needs. My God. Whatever you are lacking in life is supplied now. Everything you lack in life in this season of celebration shall be supplied to you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In 1 Corinthians 9 verse 11. Let's read together. One to go. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, is it great thing if we shall live? Is it if we have sown to you from today what I've been preaching to you, blessing you, is it a sin that of 21st me I will reap? That's what God is asking. He said, is it a sin? Now, Allah. If the whole year, God bless you, God heal you, God deliver you, then say not no be bad thing. Taking care of your spiritual father makes God to take care of your cares. Luke 8, 1 to 10. Oh, did Jesus do so? Let me show you from Jesus. So he wouldn't. No, some people have said, did Jesus do like this? This is when they turn. I saw Jesus do. Luke 8. 1 to 3. Oh, yeah, you read this so you will see it. One to go. That he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God and the twelve were with Who is that? Who is that? Now read verse 2. Now take time to read verse 3. One to go. <laughs> Eros to and Susanna and others. Which what? Of their word. The after he did prayer, they came with substance. Did, is, it, is it not your Bible? Did they come to greet him? Did they come to clean his shoe? They came to do what? So it's not wrong. That's Jesus himself. They came to, they said, thank you. Substance is substance. So, you don't know what you mean, substance. <laughs> <laughs> I 
He are looking at me as if he don't know what. They came with their word. They didn't come to say, Jesus, thank you. They know where they They say, we came with their. Thank you. Someone may say, why give a man of God that is comfortable instead of the poor? Eh? This man will reach already. We'll get poor people from Nigeria. Now him now won't call honor. Because of you. Hear what Jesus said. <laughs> Hear Jesus himself what he said. Read all the scriptures. Matthew, write it. Matthew 26, 11. Mark 14, 17, 7. And John 12, 8. Matthew 26, 11. Mark 14, 7. And John 12, 8. All of them repeated the same thing. Now, let's do one of them. One to go. For you have the poor always what? But me, you have not always. You have poor from January to 20th of October. 21st is my own. 22nd, continue with the poor. Did you hear what the Bible said? January to 20th of October, you have the poor. From 22nd to December 31st, you have the poor. But 21st for me, please. Let's read Matthew, Mark 14, 3 to 7. Let's see. This last one. Let's see. And being in Bethany, look, oh, in the house of Simon the Deborah, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having a alabaster box of ointment of sparkling, very precious, and she broke the box and poured it on his head. You read verse 4. And so, it's happened. Why will they buy a man of God when people are hungry? The poor is everywhere. I can't be honor, honoring that man of God saying be, him be prosperity preacher when people are not eating food in Nigeria. That's what this people did. Why? Why? I thought this is time for the poor. Can't they build industries? Why would they be giving a man of God? It is start today. That it might be sold for 300 pence. See how much they give him. If they shout out to poor people, they do the calculate. That's how you want to know funny people. And I've Look at it. For it, had, it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to what? Do you hear what they said? And the more money against her. Why will you spend? How can people be giving money to a man of God? We already get money. Poor people, there, they never chop food. See her here. And Jesus said, this is Jesus himself said, let her alone. Why trouble her? She had wrought a good work. So those who do it is a good work on me. For you have the poor with you. All poor people has been there. You know, do since the night where you remember poor. Because now people want to honor me. Now, even somebody in the church, I say, well, How are we going to worry about what Since you don't know, remember the poor, since this year started, now, now they remember poor. Please, after 21st, condone with the poor. <laughs> Anybody preaching such, he has a wrong heart. He has a what? The heart is wrong. For you have the poor with you. What? They're always there. After 21st, they'll continue. And whenever you will, you may do them good. Anytime you take them. But for me, you don't have me always. You don't have 21st of October. Always. Are you angry when I'm honored? If someone is angry, let him watch his heart. Let the person watch what? Oh, heart. That person's heart is wrong. <laughs> you know his heart. This is his heart. His heart. They are people get very angry when the man of God is honored. Life story, but there are things we don't talk, but we'll learn a lesson. Life story, husband and wife, top people, the wife, you know, I'm a very strong, I have a very strong spirit of discernment. The man said, Papa, um, do your payday. Do you, don't you think that uh, these things people are giving, they should just put a box, willingly they give. And I saw the anger and bitterness from where she was coming from. I said, if that's your wish, you can tell them. But can I tell the pathetic story? She had a sudden attack. And no pastor could be rich, including me. She died the same day. She had, God said, because the grace you carry, she does not value it. She was coming to church 
every, not missing church. But the day she had the attack, not one pastor could be rich. The next thing we had, she had died. So all of us say, he said, because she, he now referred me back to the kind of person she is. There are things we don't talk. Watch your heart. Oh. Watch your heart. Don't be in church and then be doing like this. If you don't like me, please, I'll not force you. No, give me all. No point giving and be grumbling. Please, I now beg and they beg you. Don't gather people and not say, come, this is when they do, and I think they're good. Please. The, a, one man say, no one buy, no buy force me for my property. <laughs> Please, it's not by force. Carry your thing, go. Those who understand covenant know how to walk by it. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I have deep revelation of covenant. This church, let me tell you the secret. This church is prospering because of Bishop Wede Kwakone. If I stop sowing to Wede Kwakone, this church will not prosper. Let me open it to you. If I stop sowing to Wede Kwakone, this church poverty will start. That man is dangerously fertile. And I'm super dangerously fertile. <laughs> are you going to say that? There are people who, if you disconnect from them, you will know that it's not your strength. Are you getting upset now? Yes, that man in the kingdom today is a super prosperous man. With all humility, you know that uh, this man is a super prosperous man. Okay, when you sow to me, is it you that prospered? Nobody has ever sold to you, except your heart is wrong, then you will not prosper. Once people say, bah! Bring to me. So there's something I carry you. Hey. Now, my God, answer you. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, After paying tight, I know you pay tight. You can call it offering. But the prophet has a role to play in your prosperity. Yes, you pay tight, you give offering. But the prophet has a role to play in your prosperity. He said, give. Good measure. Shaking. Running. Shall men give to you. They are seen as scattered and yet what? So there are a prophet was look, I was paying tight. I was giving offering, yet my prosperity was not much. And then I asked God. I said, God, there must be something I need to do. He said, Who is your prophet? I said, He said, Now nah, the way you pay tight, so I can't lie on the altar. I have three saves. One save for tight, one save for offering, one save for prophet offering. I don't have save for myself. But I have a save for Yedekwa. And at no Naira, I can't put Naira in my safe. Put Naira for what? Where you put? Oh, oh. Where you go put? Okay, if one put ten thousand dollars, this is now one point something million Naira. Ten hundred thousand dollars. Now one hundred and sixty something million Naira. Where you go put that? But you know, hundred thousand dollars now like this. I think you know. This is like, like this. You can enter safe, but one hundred and sixty-seven. <laughs> you can sack back. You can what? You can sack back. So the safe is not for Naira. Safe is for dollar. But I don't have safe of my own. Ask them. I'm standing before you. I don't have any safe of my own where I lock money. But I have safe for him. But that's why I'm prospering. I don't say I don't have account to, but I don't have safe. That's why. Look, people don't know this kingdom. This kingdom is not how you struggle. Am I struggling? With all humility, there's no pastor for any student that see what I see. I'm telling my secret to do you want to see bigger than me? Do you want to see bigger than me? Connect to what I connect. You will, look, I want to be alive to see some of you come and say, Well, um, October 21st, 2024, all I had in my account was two million. But after you prayed, well, this is my estate. A young man who is a property man in this town, about the best property person in this town, he said to me, he said, Daddy, I've not come to church before, but I love you so much. I said, how? He said, I love you. Do you know your picture is in my office? I said, ah, you went to the country. He said, hang on there. You know I love you. I just hang on for your office. <laughs> hang on for your office. He said, anytime you want to buy property, I, go, I don't write them. 
a discount. I will give you a discount. I will sow unto your life. And from the day I make up my mind to sow unto your life, my business will be boom, 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 boom. It's not born again. Are you hearing me now? The queen of Sheba, was he a Jew? Was she a Jew? No. There are people who don't go to church who would recognize the grace I carry. They don't go to church. They just say, man of God, you carry grace, so I don't call on you. Ask him, a call Muslim, every, every, he will soon bring in my gift. <laughs> call Muslim. He said, now Papa Bedo, now Bedo, call, he said, now Bedo, and they bring my own. And every time we're telling them, after I give Papa, my business will be open, my business will be open. Muslim. God no get respect for who you be. If you like this church, you say, Papa na my brother, Papa na my brother, Papa na my brother. You be calling brother anointed, brother anointed. You know, we'll get prosperity anointed. Where do you go get a brother anointed, cousin anointing? But you want to carry oil that will make you prosper? Do you want to carry oil that will make you prosper? I decree my God to change your story. Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. You are going to ask God for grace. Ask God for what? To tirelessly honor your spiritual father as as to keep enjoying the blessing. Lord, I receive grace to tirelessly what? And to keep enjoying the blessing of God. I seek to tirelessly honor my spiritual. I honor till Jesus comes, until Jesus calls us to heaven. I'll keep honoring him. Are you gonna say now? I will not do it one year and stop. Oh. Whatever you think I've done, I'll do big work. I'm thinking of a time where I'll do something that people say, hey. They will put hands for it and say, Yeah, hey, which can kind of, which kind of man be this? That's my dream. That's my what? My dream. Lord, I receive grace to honor my spiritual father all the days of my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to tirelessly honor my spiritual father all the days of my life. Thank you, Father. Second prayer, Lord, by the Holy Spirit, give me your discernment to know the disrespectful. The, the what? Disrespectful. There are disrespectful people. Lord, give me the discernment to know them and separate myself from them. There are people, even when they talk, they talk, you, you need spiritual discernment to know that they are very slow. They say, no. Papa, don't get that now. What do they do for them again? He's saying with the wrong motive. Say with what? It can even be a pastor. It can be even a pastor of this commission. The person who was against Jesus or Judas. It can be said, you know, Papa, what do you really need to do? Just uh, need to wait. Like. You, if you ask them, say, hey, hey, this pastor, no, they're right. Do you know the person who spoke against the Edipo was his own, own relation? His own blood relation. I look at his teeth today is poor. The man is poor till today. Till today is poor. And those of us who are poor are rich. Lord, and including the church, give me the spirit of what? Discernment to, to know the disrespectful, no matter where they are found. Go ahead and pray that prayer. I see this word discernment to know the disrespectful. I pray to separate myself from them. Thank 
you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. It is the anointing you value, you draw virtue from. A young man was brought to me for prayers. A politician. Nothing would have made him. He came to me and said, sir, I know <laughs> you're a man of God. Pray for me. And I led him to Christ. I prayed for him against all odds. It was picked. Against every, not one. One left everything. One went for an outreach. He left everything. And came for the outreach. After he came back, he says, I came for the outreach. You know, after this one, they will shift us to this one. But I want to remain. I just held his hand. I said, now be there. He's there. Now, these are people who are not members of this church. Then you remember. The honest of heart, oh, it's not, I like Papa. <laughs> he knows I go die for him. You may say so, and your heart is not there. It's a heart issue. But if your heart is genuine, believe you me, the prayer I'm about to pray, you'll see the effect. Please, in case I offend you, forgive me. Because I can't pray this kind of prayer and you don't see the result. There's something is wrong somewhere. No, the devil can't stop you. No, the witch that will stop you is not in your village. That I'll pray for you to prosper and any witch will stop you, that is not true. Something must be wrong somewhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to pray for you from here. Paul said, my God, cancer will dissolve right now. That near success syndrome will come to an end. That joblessness in your family will be eradicated. The God that called me will prove himself. Lift your hands to heaven. With great expectation. In this season of celebration, everyone that believes that I'm your father and I'm called of God, before this month is over, you join me to celebrate. In the name of Jesus, whatever would have made you mourn will be averted now. My God. I'm hearing God. He said, please guide your heart against offenses. Against what? Especially pastors. Maybe I've said something that may bring you offense. Guide your heart. Are you hearing me? In the third service, I praise a young man at second service. In case you are angry, guide your heart. Because you won't, if I pray for you, it won't work. You don't get offended when something is told you. Rather go and work on yourself. Lift your hands to heaven. For everyone that flows under this oil... I decree no matter the hardship in the land, you will not be a part of it. No matter things are difficult in the country where you are, my God will make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is your heart desire that you have cried for, before 21st, I decree it's granted you right now. Everything that will make your joy full, I declare to be released in the name of Jesus. As I celebrate from my heart, may God do greater things for you. I repeat, whatever God will do for me and has done for me, I declare with no hypocrisy, my God do greater for you. Amen. Listen, um, it is who believes. Anything God will do for me and has done for me, he will do greater for you. Amen. Ah, anything a prophet carries at grace that is not working in your life that you lack, today my God supply it in the name of Jesus. For all the students, be diligent in the name of Jesus. No child connected to this commission will ever struggle academics in the name of Jesus. I decree you will not be thrown out of school because of school fees. 
Heavens will give you a miracle in the name of Jesus. No student here will be stranded in the name of Jesus. Nobody here going through any form of hard time will go through hard times anymore. My God answer you. Surprising when others are complaining. Everything you have in your heart as a desire today is granted you. In Jesus name. Let somebody receive the amen from your heart. You will get married after this meeting. You have your children after this meeting. Your letters will be approved after this meeting. You carry your children in the name of Jesus. Everyone sick will be healed in the name of Jesus. I don't want to come back when I'm flowing. I know. Something happened in the first service. When did I give you the information paper? When was it? First service? First service, I'm standing. I was to just give you, not by illustration. The, the Holy Ghost was heavy. They are thought of a child. I said, drop this paper. He could not hold paper. I didn't give him for illustration. No, what I do illustration is different. This one, I just gave him to drop. It tumbled him. It tumbled the pastor. And I know when the atmosphere is changed. I wanted to pray that healing prayer after the service. Towards the end, but I'm going to pray it now. Look, not one sick will go home sick. And my studies for time's sake. I was studying this morning the book of Matthew chapter 15. When you get home, you read, but I'm not going to read all. I only read one chapter, one verse. And the Holy Ghost showed me from 22, from 21 for understanding, down to 28. Now listen. He said, and Jesus went, then Jesus went thence and departed to the coast of Thai and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with what? A devil. And then, verse 3 said, But he answered her not a word. And the disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Send her away. But he answered and said, I am not sent but the lordship of the house. That means Jesus was even ready to pray for her. She was not in the covenant. But look at verse 25. Then came she and did what? Saying, Lord, help me. The moment she worshipped, <laughs> he broke protocols. He broke all the rules. He gave attention. The moment she worshipped, what has never happened, happened. He said, you are not in the covenant. But the moment she worshipped, Jesus had to break every rule. So there are situations that rules are broken. Even if this sickness came out of your mistake, if you are suffering out of any situation, today you will be healed in the name of Jesus. The moment she worshipped, <laughs> ah, Jesus said, you have touched the area where no man told you. But he answered and said, it is not me to give the children's bread and cast to the dogs. What's children's bread? He said, give us this day our daily bread. And healing is children's bread. So every day there's healing. Combine scriptures. And he said, truth, Lord, yet dogs to save time to the eight. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Oh, woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou, what? As will. And thy daughter, and her daughter was made whole from that very hour. As worship now, everybody sick will be made whole. <laughs> that no, whether you are in church, you are online, no matter the sickness, you'll be healed instantly. <laughs> Just believe what I've said. As we worship, I will shout. I will struggle. Every sick will be healed. Lifted high, oh Jesus.
stop singing that song alone and I saw my phone ringing at midnight I was studying I said sir 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 there's an emergency I said what is it they said this man of God has been rushed to ICU I said what is it they said capsule for bread is between life and dead I said what is happening he was in the hotel room when another one went to see him capsule struggling the well known pastor in Nigeria and I said, what is it? I held my wife's hand and I said, pray. Because the was bed days by the corner. If this young man dies, everybody will be dumped, including the man. I said, for the sake of his birthday, Lord, restore his life. For the sake of his birthday, restore this young man's life. That nobody will go there sad. I met the young man at the birthday. He said, Daddy, let me tell you. The doctor said, I've been in practice for 34 years. They've never seen anything like this. He said, my kidneys were completely down. But they said, they've never seen such. My kidneys came back as if they are new. He said, never. They said, in 34 years of practice, they've never seen somebody's kidneys jack back automatically. He said, my healing is a surprise to all of them. He was in the bed himself when he was already on oxygen in ICU to die. Now listen. <laughs> Sing that song one more time. I don't care where you're crying. Except God in the country. This is the last day you go through that sickness. Except God in the country. Sing that song every day.
every sick put your hand in that part of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, the very one that called me to serve him, I decree every sick globally be healed in the name of Jesus. Your health is restored now. No matter the sickness, because of this celebration, I decree your health totally restored. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. Be free from that sickness. And if there be anything that I did not ask that you are looking for, the God that called me grant you that desire now. Whatever that thing is, that I did, I may not mention it, but the God that sees every man's heart, look into your heart, and that desire is granted now. I hear God. I will never tell you, said to me, say, you will jubilate. I heard God say to me, you will. You know what I mean? Something will happen that will make you dance in the open. Prophesy to yourself, I will jubilate. Say it with prophetic to yourself. Prophesy it because it's a word from God. Say it to three, four, five persons around you. Say it as a witness, I will jubilate. Prophesy. Tell the person to be a witness, I will jubilate. There shall be jubilation in the midst of God's people. Somebody would have prophecies for let your Lord shall. As you are going home, you will hear good news. You will find that that sickness is gone. Move your body. I can tell you. Move your body. Move your body. Everyone on sick bed in the hospital, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Your recovery shall be speedily. Your body shall be restored. You will not die, you will live. In the name of Jesus. Your kidneys will work again. Your heart will work again. There shall be no stroke. There will be no paralysis. When you go for a checkup, they will tell you no problem. They will tell you your body is made perfect. In the name of Jesus. They will tell you you are completely made perfect. Your spine is made perfect. Your body is made perfect. In the name of Jesus. Every organ in you will begin to walk. I decree before this time next year you are carrying your children. Before this time next year you are already married. Before this time next year what you ask for God has done it. In the name of Jesus. Tell yourself I will jubilate. Say prophetically. This month will not end. They will sign your papers. In everything that has to do with your paper they will approve all. In the name of Jesus. What took others one year will take you these few days. What took others ten years will not pass this year. It is done in the name of Jesus. That abundant project will finish it. God will supply more than you ever imagined. It is done in the name of Jesus. Somebody is celebrating and dancing back home. You are going back home with jubilation. You are dancing back to your houses. You are jumping to their houses. Those of you at home, son, will make you spin. In the name of Jesus. It is done as I spoken. And so shall it be. The ladder, your amen, you have it done. Give thanks to God for everything. Go ahead and thank Him. Tell Him thank you. Thank Him from your heart. Tell God thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, everyone with toothache you already healed. The holes are filled. Creative, I heard God say to me, somebody whose tooth was removed is already recreated. It's filled with new one. You hear someone testify that the tooth that was off, there's a new one. You hear testimonies to the glory of God. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. The greatest miracle is a miracle of salvation. I hear God. Carry this tape. Go and pray for any sick person to be healed. Tell them, if you have any sick person, get this message. It will be online. So pray for online. I heard God. Just play it. For the sick person who is not in church now, the person will be healed. Just this section. I hear them now of the administration. The person will be healed. Now, if you are not born again, the greatest miracle is the miracle of salvation. All those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I confess you. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, don't sit with others. Keep standing while others sit their seats. If today is your very first Sunday to worship with us, kindly stand up. want to welcome you. If it's your first Sunday, can you stand? We want to welcome you in all our churches. You're welcome to Salvation Mrs. the home of success. Everyone standing want to say to you, don't sit. Everyone standing want to say to you, your life will never remain the same. You have come to celebrate with us. Celebration with us is your whole life. God bless you. And give a warm handshake. Please fill that form. <coughs> Excuse me. Fill that form and give it back to them. Hallelujah. Please tell this close information and then Thanksgiving can take place. We'll be done for today. Tuesday is home fellowship at 6 p.m. Thank you so much for listening to the end. I pray that whatever that you have listened to today, you are not going just to keep it, but you're going to do what God has told you through this message. And please kindly, if you're new here or you are not, so I mean, you have not subscribed. Kindly just click on the red button below the video and subscribe to this my channel. And also, you can share this video with someone else. Thank you so much, and see you in my next video. Bye.